Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix Twitter sensitive content settings if they're not working. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if you open up Twitter and you get to a point where Twitter is blocking any kind of sensitive content and you want to turn that off, but it's not working, I'll walk you through a bunch of steps that will definitely get that working again. Now, if we hop out of here and open up Safari or Google Chrome, we'll need to access the web-based version of Twitter in order to turn off that sensitive content filter. So go to twitter.com and log into your normal Twitter account from twitter.com. Don't go to the app on your iPhone or Android. Now, once you're there at the very top left, let's tap on the profile icon and then scroll down until you get to settings and privacy and we'll tap on that. And then midway down privacy and safety, we'll tap on that. And then you can see content you see is the third option. We'll tap on that. Now there are two different things you need to check on here. One is at the very top display media that may contain sensitive content. So you wanna make sure that is checked on so that you do wanna see sensitive content. And then at the very bottom, search settings, we'll tap that. And where it says hide sensitive content, we want to make sure that is toggled off. So we don't want to hide any of that sensitive content. Now what you can do is a couple different steps if you go back to your Twitter app and it's still not working. One is you can swipe up to fully close out of Twitter and then try to open it back up and see if that works. And then the next step is let's hop out of here and go into our settings. And then we'll go down until we get to general, tap on general, then iPhone storage. And from here, we'll want to find Twitter and offload and reinstall the app. Now what this does is it doesn't remove any of your specific files on the Twitter app, but it force updates the app to the latest version and refreshes any kind of bugs within the app itself. So that once that's done installing and you have a new fresh install of Twitter, that sensitive content settings and filter should be working now as you set them on the web-based version. Hope this helps. Thanks for your time today and I'll see you on the next one.